<clears throat> Sitting there before we sang that song. One of them, I think it's the one drawn. <clears throat> request, it may not have been. Part of this. It was based off of 2 Corinthians 4. And a, <clears throat> we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Then you go over to Romans 8. This just came to me in there. <coughs> For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor power nor things present nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God. God saw that the wickedness of men was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. <clears throat> Those verses are connected. I'm bouncing around. I'm going to end up in Psalms. But <clears throat> it says in De Deuteronomy 32 and 10, For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. And that's an inheritance that Peter said is incorruptible and it's undefiled. Mm -hmm. But the wonderful thing is, it's reserved. <clears throat> We've all been to motel or hotel. I heard Elder Poole make this <clears throat> analogy. He said, we've all been to a, a motel and they've lost our reservation. <clears throat> we tell them, well, I've got a confirmation number. And they said, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> this right here is a reservation. Preserved, and it will never fade away. Sure and steadfast. Yes, sure and steadfast. He found him in a desert land, mm -hmm. in the waste howling wilderness. He led him about. For it's not in man that walketh to direct his steps and in the fact that he is walking <clears throat> that means that he is alive he has been made alive <clears throat> he instructed him he kept him as the apple of his eye <clears throat> let's go over to Psalms 107 the Psalms is laid out <coughs> in a beautiful manner. <coughs> you know, the more we're shown what that psalm was talking about, <coughs> that's how I answered the sister Diane. The more we're shown the total depravity <clears throat> that depth and height 
the more we're shown that amazing grace. The deeper we're shown how depraved we are, <clears throat> the more we see that that amazing grace. <clears throat> you won't find, I don't believe, I never have, you'll find a little child of God that has much of an, much of an opinion of himself. <clears throat> you go to the Beatitudes, <clears throat> they're thirsting and they're hungry. <clears throat> They're poor. They're mourning. Why? Because they have been shown that no righteousness whatsoever will ever come from this carnal nature in no way. Peter, Peter said, Lord, I'll never leave thee. I'll go to prison. I'll die. But... It must be remembered that they all said that exact same thing. And I think in some of that weeping, when the Lord looked at Peter right, right after he activated that rooster's vocal cords, and he, and he, and he looked at Peter, and Peter, the, and the remembrance was brought back to him, and he says he went out and he wept bitterly. Yes, he did deny him. Yes, he cursed him. But I think part of Peter was, Lord, how could you have anything to do with me? Amen. That's that distress. That right there is what a little child of God feels in their heart. That's that depth. That's that height. That's that width. That right there. But it says nothing can separate you from the love of God. And, and when we are shown that you can, when you are under that legalism, and, and, and when you're under that, you think, I'm doing fine. I'm doing well. Paul said, I'm blameless. I'm, I, I, anything that he counted lost for Christ, he accounted it good for him. That right, that's in Philippians 3. <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> concerning zeal he's telling you about himself circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin a Hebrew of the Hebrews as touching the law of Pharisee concerning zeal persecuting the church touching the righteousness which is in the law blameless I'm doing fine <clears throat> I am fulfilling that law. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for Christ. But this next verse, there is a change. There's a change in Paul. He said three times in the book of Acts, the ninth chapter, the 22nd chapter, and the last is in the 26th chapter, when he is standing in front of King Agrippa. He relates what happened to him on the road to Damascus. Three times he relates that exact same thing. <clears throat> he looked at the Lord and said, Lord, what, what would you have me to do? There's no works in that whatsoever. There was a change that took place in him. And it was an ongoing change because the Lord said it is hard for thee, Paul. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks, the goads. There was a work that was going on in Paul and he did not understand it. And each and every little child of God, those, those distresses... <sighs> 
those distresses, <coughs> that's what that that persecution that that is a that is the distress that is going on within us when we are shown <coughs> that blackness that was in. And right here in Psalms 107. <coughs> First three verses are praise for Jehovah's kindness. Verse 4 and 5, verse 10 and 12, verse 17 and 18, verse 23 and 27. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell within. When you are brought out from that legalism, you are brought out from, from when you are trying everything that you can do to bring about righteousness from this carnal nature. Twelve years, that, that, that lady, she was led she was instructed by the hand of an almighty God. And she went from works person to works person to, to telling her, you're idle, you must do this and you must do that. <clears throat> she was shown the height and the depth until she laid her eyes on the one, on the one, that one, that, 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 that Jesus, her shepherd, when she was shown that and she crawled up behind him just to touch the fringe of his garment. But he, but she had to go through that time, that solitary way. She had to walk through that. <clears throat> and it's part of the walk of a child of God. <clears throat> it's there. That's why he says they wandered in the wilderness they found no city to dwell in hungry and thirsty their soul fainted in them <coughs> looking for that righteousness <coughs> but they found no righteousness they hungered for a righteousness but there's no righteousness whatsoever that will ever come from this carnal fleshly man for he is the enemy of God like John said he's not at enemy he is the enemy and that's that wandering that's that thirsting <clears throat> that's that distress that a little child of God feels within themselves Verse 6. Then they cried. Oh, that first word there. Then. Our Lord, He sets the times. He sets the seasons. <clears throat> there is a time to be born. There is a time to die. He is the one that gathers. He is the one that no eggs no eggs have ever gathered, has ever gathered themselves. He says, I am the shepherd. You are the sheep and I know you by name. But he walked you through that time, that legalism, that distress that is shown. Those, those that are home there, they don't know that there's no right, <laughs> that there's no righteousness there. They, they are home. But when the Lord in His, in His time and in His season, when like Paul, those goads and those pricks, they, 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 there is a lie, that heart that John was, was talking about. David said, create in me a new heart when there is a birth from above. And you are shown that that is being saved, renewed day by day. That right there, and that is when then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And what was that trouble? 
nothing I can do. Simply to the cross I cling. That's the trouble. That's the distress. That's the height. That's the depth. That's the persecution. Yes, we have afflictions and persecutions in this earthly time, in this world. But the true affliction, the true per 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 persecution is, is when you are shown that blackness that is as the tents of, of Kadar. That right there, there is no righteousness in and of myself, Lord. It is all about you. It is for thy glory and for thy, and for thy purpose. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. But they had to come through that path that he deemed. That 12 years, Nebuchadnezzar, whoa, 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 what, did, what did he say? Look at the kingdom that I have built. And then seven years he was put out there to graze. Just, just like that lady, 12 years. Seven years and then, and then when he come out of it, the first thing he did was he looked up. That right there tells you. For seven years he was walked in the backside of the desert in a solitary way. He was shown the vileness and the blackness of a child of God. That's the true persecution. That's the true distress of a little sheep, of a little child of God. It says, then they cried. But they, but, but they had to come to that point. They had to be walked to that point. And everything that happens in a little child of God's life it's for a purpose that is worthy of Himself. The more depths of that depravity we are shown, like I said, the more amazing grace that, that, our, that our Lord would even consider one as me. That right there, that's the true distress. That's the true affliction of a little child of God. Oh, when He shows you, I'll gather you. I'm the hen, and I'll tuck you under my wings. Mm -hmm. That right there, that's heaven. Anywhere our Lord and Savior is, that is heaven. When you are shown that amazing mercy, that amazing grace when you are brought out from that covenant of works and you are brought over into that covenant of grace. Then they cried <coughs> to the Lord in their trouble. And He led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation. <clears throat> oh. That's deliverance. In verse 8, all oh, that men, all oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness, His kindness, His mercy, for His wonderful works to the children of men. <clears throat> For he satisfieth the longing soul, but he brings you to that point where you are longing, where you are thirsting, <coughs> where you are poor of spirit. <coughs> he brings you to that point, and then, and only then, can you praise him. <coughs> Then it starts over again. This is repeated three or four times. Verse 10. It's going back to trouble and distress. Such as sit... Sorry. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and I... Do you see what he's pointing to? 
but he's reiterating it again because they rebelled against the words of God. Oh, Lord, I've never rebelled. I've never done that. We absolutely have. It's in us. It's that carnal nature. That's that wilderness. That's that right there. He walks you through and shows you that carnal nature. That's people. Paul, Paul prayed, Lord, Lord, take this thorn away. Take it away. He tells you, Paul, he says exactly what it is. He's told exactly what it is. He knows what, what it's for. But our Lord said, My grace, Paul, my grace is sufficient. He knows the amount that that thorn is, is going to be in each and every one of his little sheep. He, he, he appoints it. He sets the time. He sets the amount. He sets the season. But because he sets that time and he sets that amount and he sets that season, he can say, My grace is sufficient, Paul. It is sufficient. For in thy weakness is strength. We look only when, we, when our eyes are turned from that wilderness. It's turned from that solitary way. And it's turned to our Lord and Savior. We don't turn ourselves. John said, turn thou me. We don't turn ourselves. And then, and then there's a time of manna. There, there is a time when just a few breadcrumbs are handed down for his little children. Oh, 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 what a wonderful time it is. But then all of a sudden, he turns you back. And once again, you're shown that blackness. And you're shown that total depravity, total inability. But there is a purpose in that. You see it and you think, oh Lord, is it still there? How could it possibly be still there? I remember Dad... <clears throat> Tell them a story. <clears throat> John may remember, I don't know. When he first <clears throat> made a profession of faith, I guess that's the way to say it. <clears throat> was it <clears throat> was it Methodist or Nazarene. Nazarene? He made a profession of faith and it was a Nazarene. He was working at State Elect or West Virginia Electric yeah. over here at the foot of the bridge. I knew John remember. <coughs> Sis may have heard this. He may have told her. I don't remember. Said he had just made a profession of faith and they dumped him in the water as fast as they could. I'm not making fun of him. That's just that's that's that that's just it's a true story. It's the path. Exactly. It's the path that <laughs> said that. He was working the counter and some guy come up <clears throat> and he didn't know nothing about anything about electric parts, material. <clears throat> Said he walked back. He was walking back toward, back through the store, the warehouse, and said he just laid out a whole stream of cussing and cursing. And, and then he stopped. He thought, oh, I've lost it. I've lost it. And it scared him. Court naturally it scared him. And he said there was an old preacher. There was an old preacher there. I don't remember. <clears throat> but he must have had some light of truth. He said, no. They called him George. They said, no, George, you haven't lost nothing. <clears throat> you, you haven't lost anything. <clears throat> There's two in there. <clears throat> That's what he told him. He said, you haven't lost nothing. <clears throat> and Dad, he said that comforted him so much. <clears throat> that was a comfort and a peace to him. Mm -hmm. Like John said, that's the path that we've been talking about. There was a purpose in that happening as much as us sitting right here today and the reason why I say that is he's told that story I don't know how many times. So it marked him. 
It affected him. And I think, huh? Humbled him. Yeah, yes. Humbled him. Yeah, that's good. And I think every person sitting here has those times and those seasons mm -hmm. <clears throat> that have affected us. But the Lord said our iniquities are crimson, <clears throat> but by the blood of our Lord, we're made white. You know, that's the, you sling some red up on that white wall and it's going to stand down. <clears throat> But his precious blood is what Peter called the precious blood. The Son of God, God Himself, by the amazing grace, unmerited favor, when you're shown the depravity that is in a his carnal heart. <clears throat> he said, I will lose none but the son of perdition that the Scriptures may be fulfilled. Amen. And even upon the cross, <clears throat> all the Scriptures were fulfilled. And then He commended His Spirit into the hands of the Father he said, it is finished. He fulfilled every jot and He fulfilled every tittle. He dotted every I and He crossed every T. <clears throat> We're in that seventh day of rest. And when you're brought out from that legalism and He brings you truly in to that covenant of mercy, that covenant of grace, that is being saved each and every day when that Spirit sanctifies you and it sets you apart. That right there. And then when He opens your ears and your heart and you can understand it is finished. And that the Father looked down and said, This is my Son, in whom He is well pleased. And He brought Him forth from the grave in the power of the resurrection. That right there <clears throat> is the manna that the Lord hands down to His little sheep. He tells you those afflictions and those distresses that we feel and we feel them deep like I said no little child of God we don't have a high estimation of ourselves because you're shown the total depravity you're shown that but you feel it like that ninth plague when they felt that darkness but yet in the little huts in the little houses of his children was light. <clears throat> the darkness was there, but yet He provides that light. God said, let there be light. And like Elder Paul, I, I, I've heard I don't know how many times, and it be. For He is the sovereign hand of an almighty God who rules and reigns. We worship a living God. <clears throat> and He bring, He shows us those afflictions and those persecutions. He shows us this depraved heart. Then we cry in our trouble. We praise Him for His deliverance <clears throat> because it was only from unmerited favor the amazing grace of an almighty God. <clears throat>